Welcome back to the tea of the day. I've got my special cozy on today because it's extra hot at the moment. See if I can handle it yet. Nope, too hot still. Woo, that might affect the taste a little bit. May have to let it cool down a touch. Nah, let's drink it. <laughs> so today I've got one I'm really excited about. This is fresh chocolate mint. Now I tried to grow this myself and the darn bugs just kept eating the seeds and it didn't happen. So I saw it at the market and I said, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy that. It's ready to go. And it was actually so tall as it needed to be harvested. So here it is. It's my first taste. I've never actually tried it before. So I'm just like, oh yeah. Let's get the expe expectations down because uh, I don't want to like, you know, try it and it's going to be fantastic, but I'm not, it's not going to live up to my expectations. So I'm going to think, just think, nah, you know, this is it, whatever. I don't care. Chocolate mint? I don't care. You care? Nah. Let's drink. Ooh, I smell. Give it a little blow. Yeah, the heat really affects it. <laughs> it does need to cool down. Let's give it a minute. I guess I was just a little too excited. It was so darn hot. It was like scorching the roof of my mouth. <laughs> but I guess while it's cooling down, let's talk about a few other things. Chocolate mint tea specifically is supposed to be good for IBS. It's supposed to actually help with if uh, fem uh, women are having pain while breastfeeding. It's also supposed to be good for cold symptoms. Of course, mint, it, it, it's good for bad breath. Are good for digestive problems and it's also supposed to help with various cold symptoms and of course it's good for brain function so uh very similar to other ones except for these interesting uh variations with the ibs and the breastfeeding pain and such so yeah chocolate mint's got some really cool and interesting uh th ways that uh, it can uh, help you out i think we're ready to go maybe i hope so Mm. Ooh. Maybe because it's still too hot, I'm getting much more of the mintiness, which is awesome. I'm not getting much chocolatiness yet. I can kind of smell it and kind of feel a little bit on the back end. Hmm. Yeah. But compared to other mints, which have that very much lighter effervescent, um, with the true minty feel. This one is a, it doesn't quite have that, ooh, poppy mint kind of feel. I think it's because of the chocolate aspect. I kind of get a little bit on the back end. I think I want to try it again with a few extra leaves in here to see if it can make it a little bit stronger or try to brew it a little bit longer. I think I just might have rushed it because of the fact that it was so hot. I just wanted to get to it too fast. I probably should have let it have a couple more minutes. <laughs> Given the color though, I kind of figured maybe it was ready and, but yeah, maybe it needed more like eight to 10 minutes or something. I went only around five on this one, so. Hmm. But yeah, I'm liking the taste. Um, the more I, I get it, uh, a, a few tastes in, the more uh, I'm really noticing the flavor of it. What's interesting for me, um, I'm not overtly getting like chocolate. I'm getting like um, more of a, a darker um, essence, not an earthier essence, but um, it has like the echo of chocolate, if that, if, as it were. It's not like, boom, you're tasting it, that's definitely chocolate, but it's a nice derivative thereof. Yeah, I really like it still. This is a nice one, and I think you can drink it by itself. Any mint? As far as I'm concerned, you can drink by itself. No problem. Um, they, they're all strong enough and they all have enough of a flavor that can handle just being alone. But yeah, yeah, I'm sold on it. I definitely want to try it again and see if I can make it a little bit stronger and see if that's going to affect how I feel about it. But otherwise, darn good tea. Till next time, take care of each other and have a nice tea day.